Mary from SVG Cuts here and today I'm here to show you how to put together our super cool new teapot and teacup and these really cute little boxes that you can give tea in as a gift or also this box is pretty versatile you could also get creative and just do whatever you want with it so super fun they're not that hard to put together at all and I think they're going to be such a wow factor gift to give someone. I know I can't wait to make one for my mom and for several women that I know that would just love it. So it's actually really straightforward to put together. And the lid is nice and sturdy and is finished off real nice on the inside. So totally love it. I've been thinking for a while about how to make this work and I'm really happy with how it came out. So same thing goes for the teacup, surprisingly super easy to put together and this cute little 3D spoon adds a nice little embellishment on there and really depending on what kind of paper you want to use, you could go real whimsical, kind of Alice in Wonderland looking or like real classy and simple and elegant. So super fun and I love the paper that I used to put these guys together this time. It's by Crate Paper and it's called the Pretty Party Collection and it's got some like sewing pattern stuff on here and just real girly, real cute, kind of vintage. So that looks awesome with it but obviously like any kind of paper that you can imagine is going to look really cute with all this stuff. So we've also got our cute little tea dispenser box here which you can pull out little tea bags from and I had fun putting some of my favorite tea in there. And I think something else that would be really cute to do with this would be to do it up maybe like with a bedtime, like nighttime looking paper, maybe with some stars and some moons. You could put like a half moon here and fill it up with some chamomile tea. Maybe for someone who needs help sleeping or is like feeling under the weather. So I know one time I actually, I had a cold and I took some of that herbal remedy tea and it actually really helped. So that would be a really cool gift for someone. So finally we've got our cute little tea card here which also holds one little packet of tea. So that would be another cute one to do up as like, you know, get well or, you know, sleep tight tonight or whatever. So super fun and love it, love it. So it's also really fun to put a lot of embellishments and ribbons and stuff on these. And I used this really cute green ribbon that you see here, this crochet ribbon. And I got to use my new tool here to put this on. And it's just a, a little gun, it's by Glue Arts, it's called the Glue Glider Pro. And there are these little cartridges that you just pop right in there, it's not hard to do at all, you just stick it in there and get to going. But the cool thing is that all these little cartridges are different levels of tackiness. So this one's high tack, there's like a permanent tack, there's a repositionable tack, so whatever your needs are, you can find one that works. So I really like it, I've never used one until now and it's definitely cool. So I have all my pieces cut out so let's sit down and get started. So first let's do a simple one. This little box is super simple, super easy and the only thing to really keep in mind is that you don't want to glue the lid down because you want to be able to put stuff in through the lid. So I've got my two large pieces here and I've already glued the cute little panels on it and then this final piece is just the bottom. So let's start by taking a look here. This little thing is the thumb hole that's, that goes at the top and then this flap here is the lid so that goes at the top. So let's just go ahead and put some glue here and then just glue this in place here. So I just put a nice little thin layer of glue in there and then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you could figure that out. Just a nice little thin couple lines of glue there and glue this together. So as that's drying, I'm just going to show you real quick here. All you're going to do now is just put some glue on these two sides and put that into place. And then you can kind of see the tabs in there on the inside. So just to finish it off, you're going to take your bottom piece here and just glue that on the inside or you could flip it over for a contrast that looks real cute too. So that's it. So next let's do our cute little carton here with it's open on the top and I've got these two pieces that are a little bit smaller than these other two pieces. The bigger ones go on the outside. These are going to form the inside and then this top rectangle is going to go on the top. This will go on the very bottom and then this smaller one is going to go on the inside. 
So first, let's just take our inside pieces here, and I want them to be folded so that the bottom is folded in here, and the side tab is also folded in, but then the top tabs are folded out, and they're folded away. So first, let's put glue on this tab here, and I was actually about to glue it here, but what we want to do is glue it on this side, because then it's going to be hidden when you glue it together, because then when you look from the inside, you won't see that tab. So go ahead and put glue on this tab, and put that in place, and just hold that while it dries, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm just going to be sure to glue the tab on the outside so that it's hidden. So go ahead and put that in place. And just make sure it's lined up real nice. And now I've got my inside here. I'm just going to put glue on those four tabs and just put this bottom part into place. So now let's take our two outside pieces here, and it's pretty much the same thing, except all these tabs are going to get folded in, including the top and the bottom. So we want these tabs to be on the inside. So let's put a thin layer of glue on this part of the tab and glue that into place. And if you're wondering what this cute, cute paper is, it is by Bow Bunny. It's really cute. It has like a little kitchen, kitchen dessert theme going. Super cute. So just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and glue that into place. And once that has a good hold, we can just flip it over. And I'm going to put glue on all of these tabs and just put the bottom into place. Mine doesn't match, which is kind of cute. And then when you flip this over, we're going to take our inside part and put that down in there. And I'm going to put glue between these tabs all the way around. So I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to put glue in there. I'm going to push it down all the way around. And then I'm going to put another layer of glue all the way around, and I'm going to finish it off with my little finishing piece. Then I can go ahead and decorate it to my heart's content. So next let's do our cute little teacup here. And I glued the cup down to the saucer, but you can leave it off if that floats your boat. So the saucer is super easy. All I'm going to do is put a thin layer of glue on this tab and hold it in place while it dries. And then I'm just going to put glue all the way around, and I'm just going to put this little guy in place. Super easy. Then once your saucer is all done, you can go ahead and glue your cute little panels on here. So next for our little teacup, you have 12 pieces that look like this. And the best way to fold them is they, they all go, they basically all get folded over except for the second one from the bottom. You want to fold it the other way. So all of them are the same except for this piece which has two holes in it. But it doesn't matter what order you go in. All you're going to do is just put glue on all three of these tabs. A nice thin line so there's enough glue to hold it, but not so much that it's sticking out. And I like to just start at the bottom and hold it long enough for it to start to take hold. And then just move on to the next one and hold it just long enough. And then just finish it off like this. So you're going to go ahead and do the same thing all the way around for all 12 pieces. So I've got all 12 pieces almost done. I just need to finish it up here and just close up the little cup here. So like before, I'm just going to start at the bottom and hold that while it dries and just work my way up. I'm kind of getting glue all over the place, but you get the idea. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our piece here with the two holes in it. 
And I'm going to take my little, my little decoration pieces, these little panels, and they're all the same also except for this one, which has two holes in it. And what I'm going to do first is take them all and kind of bend them a little bit to get them going in the right direction because they are just going to get glued all the way around with a little curve at the bottom. But first, let's take our piece with the holes in it and put that on first. And all I'm going to do is put glue at the very top and at the very bottom. I'm not going to put it on the whole piece because we want it to have some nice curve to it. And if it's not glued all the way down, then it has more of a curve. So now that I've got my little piece glued on with the holes lined up, I'm going to take my handle and I've folded these pieces away because I'm going to glue I'm going to glue the handle part together, but then these pieces are going to be left without glue on them. So go ahead and put some glue on the inside here. And this is this is just the base of the handle. There are also a few more layers that just add some reinforcement, which you can glue on now or later. As you can see here, this one's nice and thick. It's got some extra layers on it on the front and on the back. So now I'm just going to take my handle and basically what I want to do is stick these little oval pieces through to the other side and then split them open and glue them down to hold the handle down. So I'm just feeding them through. Now you can see them from the other side and I'm just going to put glue on either side of them and I'm going to flatten them down and just hold that while it dries. And then it looks kind of funny on the inside with all these tabs and everything. So you can go ahead and glue your little interior pieces down. They have a little fold at the bottom and you just glue them all the way around. So at this point you can go ahead and take your little curved other pieces here that go on the outside and just go ahead and put glue I like to just do it only at the top and only at the bottom. That way you get your maximum curving action here. And it's real easy to just hold the top and hold the bottom while it dries. So go ahead and do that all the way around your cup. And then you can flip over the bottom and just put a nice thin layer of glue all the way around there and put your bottom on. So we've got one that's a little bit smaller, set that aside. This is your bottom. Just move it around until it's perfectly in place. And then this just goes on the inside to hide all those tabs. So now let's move on to our teapot. And we've got 12 pieces that look like this. And they've all got numbers on the bottom. I went ahead and I went over the numbers with a marker so they would be more visible. But you'll be able to see yours because your machine will cut them out. So just look closely and you can see 1 through 12. And then we've also got 13 and 14 which are split open because the spout is going to go out between those. So go ahead and I went ahead and I glued my pieces together. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six all the way around and all I did was just glue those pieces together. So I've got 11 here. I'm going to glue 12 in place and that's going to show you exactly how to glue 1 through 12 together. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all of the tabs, going all the way up. And as you can see, the, this top part here gets curved towards you, as well as the second one from the bottom here. So go ahead and put the first one in place. Hold that while it dries. And just work your way up one at a time, holding each one for a little while and letting it dry. And it's really pretty easy all the way up to the top. I got a little too much glue in mine, but that's fine. So now go ahead and glue all of yours together. I've got my 1 through 12 here. And as you can see, between 6 and 7, there are two little slits where our handle is going to go. 
So next, let's take our 13 and 14 here. These are on the bottom. And then here's the top of 13 and 14. And you can tell which one is which because if it was like this, it would be too pointy. So it's like this because the bottom part here is pretty flat. It's not like this where it's pointed like that. So we are going to take 13 here and I'm going to start I'm going to start at the bottom like I always do here on number 12 and put my glue. And I forgot to fold those ahead of time. And I'm just going to put my 13 in place one tab at a time and give it a chance to take hold before I move on to the next tab and down to the bottom. So now let's go ahead and put 14 in place here. So just do the same thing. Just putting one tab in place at a time. All the way down to the bottom. Now I am back at number one here and I can go ahead and close up the whole thing in the same way. So I just want to be really sure that this is dry before I let go because now that I'm closing it up there's some tension between the two parts of it here and I don't want that to make it go out of alignment. So just hold each one while it dries and it's starting to take shape here. So now I'm just going to do the same thing and I'm going to put these two in place to finish it up. So now I've got my little teapot taking shape. I'm going to set that aside and take a look at my spout here. And it's just one piece, but I went ahead and I glued these little panels in place ahead of time. And all I'm going to do is first just close it up by putting glue on this outside tab and curve that around and put it in place to form the spout. And the spout is like this when it's upright. So it's shaped like that. This is the top. So all I'm going to do is fold all of these tabs this way. And I'm going to put glue on every single tab. And then I'm just going to drop it inside here. And I'm just going to pick one at a time and just hold one at a time while it dries and then do an opposite one to start to add some stability and then just hold them all as they dry like this. So now I've got my handle here and it's just two pieces of the pink paper which is the same as the teapot and then it has some little panels added onto it for extra strength. So all I'm going to do is put glue on the inside of one of these and I'm not putting it on these little flappy tabs here so I just want to glue those together. It's nice and sturdy, a couple layers thick of paper. And then I'm going to take a look on the other side here where there's these two slits. And all I'm going to do is just feed the tabs into these slits here. And then on the inside, I'm going to put glue on the tabs and fold them out and hold them while they dry inside. So next, I'm going to take my little panels here and I'm going to grab them all at once and kind of curve them a little bit to get them going in the right direction. And then all I'm going to do is put glue on the top and on the bottom. And the top is a little bit skinnier than the bottom is. And I'm just going to hold that in place on the top and bottom as it dries. And these are all the same, so it doesn't matter where you put them, just hold them when they dry. Do that all the way around, and then you can flip over your bottom and put a nice thin layer of glue around there. And just put your bottom on and move it around if you need to. And just hold that. So finally we've just got these four little other panel pieces. 
And you can get an idea of where they go just by kind of eyeballing it. You can tell that those go there. And then we've just got these guys that go on the bottom. So just curve those and just glue them on. So next we've got our cute little teapot lid here. And these little tabs are gonna go on at the end all the way around. And this part's gonna go here on the top with the handle sticking up through it. This part goes on the inside to finish it off as well as this other shape without the circle in the middle. See, because this one's similar. This one goes on the top because it has a, a cutout on the top. Then we've got our little handle pieces here, which I've already glued. These are two layers thick here. And then finally, just this part, which forms most of the lid. So one of these has a slit cut in it, and that's going to go on the top. So the first thing we want to do is form our handle so that we can put it through the top there. So we're going to do that by taking these two little pieces and I'm going to glue them face to face like this. So just put a little glue in here and glue them together. Being sure to not glue these two tabs together just yet. Then we're just going to glue the finishing pieces up here like this. So we've got our cute little handle here. Let's set that aside for just a minute. And we want to put this piece with the cutout on top of this other piece with the cutout. So go ahead and glue that down, being sure to line up the two cutouts. So next you're going to just take your handle with the two slits and just feed it through all the way to the other side. Pull it through, and I'm just going to put some glue on either side of it, and then fold it open and let that glue take hold. So it's nice and flat on the inside, but you've got your cute handle on the top. So next, just go ahead and put it on top of its friend here, and I want all the tabs to be on the inside, so anywhere where there's a tab on top, I want to push it down into the inside. So we're starting to take shape here. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way around. I'm just going to put one little dot of glue on only this little tiny tab. And I'm going to hold that while it dries. And I'm going to do that all the way around the whole lid. So just work your way around one little drop of glue and just keep going all the way around. So once you have all of those little guys in place, you're going to go on the inside here and then you're going to glue this other tab down. So then you can do that all the way around. And then once you have all those tabs glued down, all that's left is to finish it off by putting, gluing this little guy on the inside and gluing this little finishing piece on the inside. And then you can take your little panels here and curve them and just glue them all the way around the whole entire lid. So finally we've got our cute little three-dimensional spoon here. And the handle parts, I've already gone ahead and glued together. I'm just, I just layered them on top of each other to form the handle. And then all we have left are these two little shapes and this spoon shape. So I went ahead and I flipped up these tabs on the inside of the spoon shape. And then there's one little tab on the end where I'm going to put one little dot of glue. And I'm going to close up my little spoon. And then all I'm going to do is just put glue on all these tabs. And these two, these two shapes are the same, so pick either of them and just put that on top of the glue. And then flip it over and finish it off with the other one. Then all you're going to do is just glue this, glue this back right on like this. Then finally you can just 
give your handle a little bit of a curve here to make it look more realistic. And that's it. So there you have it. Super fun, super cute projects. I hope you love them and I hope you have a blast putting them together. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with this and how they look with all your different papers and creative ideas that you guys have. So if you would like to share a picture on our Facebook wall or in our forum, I would love to see it. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.